Commander Beverly Crusher, M.D., was the chief medical officer on board the USS Enterprise D and the successor, the USS Enterprise E, both under the command of Captain Jean-Luc Picard. She briefly left her post as CMO of the Enterprise D to become head of Starfleet Medical, only to return shortly after. Dr. Crusher was born as Beverly Howard in Cornipothlius City on Earth's moon on October 13, 2324. Her ancestry was from North America, although her distant ancestry hailed from Scotland. While Beverly was still a young child, both of her parents were killed. She was raised by her grandmother, Felicia Howard, whom Beverly referred to as Nana, and who eventually married into the noble Howard family. Both Howards were present during the terrible disaster at Aridia Three Colony, and was during this time Felicia learned how to use herbs and roots for medical purposes after regular medical supplies has been exhausted. This inspired Beverly into a career in medicine. Beverly and Felicia later moved to the Caldos Colony, where Felicia became a healer until her death in 2370. Beverly attended Starfleet Academy from 2342 to 2350. During her training, she earned her Doctor of Medicine. During this time, she became romantically involved with Jack Crusher after being introduced by their mutual friend, Walker Keel. It took months for her to realize their attraction. The two were married in 2348 after Jack proposed to her through a gag gift, a book entitled, How to Advance Your Career Through Marriage. Jack later served aboard the USS Stargazer under Picard, and the couple became good friends with the captain. Picard later admitted that he had fallen in love with Beverly, but did not ever express his feelings because he felt that doing so would betray his friend. Almost a year later, the Crushers welcomed a son, Wesley Crusher, in 2348. After Beverly graduated in 2350, she interned with Dr. Dalen Quaints on Delos IV in 2352. Jack died on an away mission while serving on board the Stargazer in 2353. Picard brought Jack's body home to the grieving Beverly and Wesley. He also accompanied her to see Jack's body in the morgue at Starbase 32. Beverly appreciated the gesture, but despite the fact that Picard felt it would be better for her to remember him alive than as a corpse. Beverly never fully recovered from his death. Dr. Crusher was appointed Chief Medical Officer of the Starship Enterprise D in 2364 and joined the ship at Farpoint Station with Wesley. Picard initially had reservations about her presence, but she assured him that the past would have no effect on her duties and she'd have no problem serving under his command. Crusher had to deal with various epidemics on board the Enterprise, including a polywater intoxication in 2364. The affliction was different than that encountered by the PSI 2000 by the original Enterprise, nearly a century prior, and Crusher had to modify Dr. McCoy's allergen to help the ship. Another disease ravaged the ship later that year when students returning from a field trip on Kwasilu 8 brought along a deadly respiratory virus. Fortunately, Beverly's skills led to an antidote averting disaster. Beverly helped reconstruct Lore after the Enterprise found him abandoned on Omicron Theta, becoming very familiar with Data's workings in the process. Crusher was first to observe the Parasites, which attempted to take control of the Federation in 2364, and determined a way to remove them from the host. While visiting the Borg Cube, which invaded Federation space in 2367, Crusher came up with the idea of damaging the Borg's ship power nodes in order to halt the progress towards Earth. She worked with Commander Data to develop a modification to the Nanites which would introduce the Borg in order to destroy their mechanical systems, but the change would take several weeks. Crusher later helped Data link with Locutus of Borg, Picard's assimilated alter ego. She realized that the Borg interdependency was a great weakness and suggested Data seemingly begin command to shut the Borg down. After the crisis, Crusher pioneered the surgical techniques for removing implants from Picard. In 2367, Beverly assisted in the delivery of a large space-born life form whose mother was accidentally killed by the Enterprise. 
Dr. Crusher was the first non-trill to study their anatomy and transplant a symbiote into a new host. When non-corporeal criminals imprisoned on Mabu 6 took control of the bodies of Troy, Data, and Miles O'Brien, Crusher helped design a neurofield that would force out and then trap the life forms. Unfortunately, the timing was not right and the crew was forced to abandon the use of the device. When Ambassador Vess Alcar began using Deanna Troy as a receptacle for his psychic waste in 2369, Crusher developed a way to break his link and restore Troy to normal. In 2369, Beverly was a major participant in the race to decipher the final research of Dr. Richard Galen. Her contributions, along with those of the Enterprise-D crew and various other interests, led to the discovery of a message from ancient humanoids the oldest sentient human species. As a fully certified bridge officer, Crusher commanded the Enterprise D on several occasions, most notably in 2370 while nearly the entire crew was searching for data on a renegade Borg planet. The ship was attacked by a Borg vessel, but her quick thinking allowed the Enterprise to escape and destroy the Borg ship. She also occasionally commanded the night shift watches in order to stay on top of her starship operations. The Enterprise-D was destroyed in 2371, following a crash landing of the saucer section on planet Viridian 3. Although there were no fatalities to the crew, there were many wounded, which kept Crusher quite busy. She was transferred to the newly commissioned USS Enterprise-E the following year. Her command abilities were put to good use during the ship's near assimilation by the Borg. During its trip to the year 2063, where she served as temporary executive officer during the crisis. Even though she was not fond of the emergency medical hologram, she successfully used it as a decoy to keep the Borg distracted while the sickbay staff and patients made it to relative safety.